Okay, so I get it. Everyone wants to talk about Wi-Fi. So let's do this. Hey folks, this is Reviews with John. Uh, I have got a lot of traction on a couple of videos on my channel about uh, Wi-Fi access points. And primarily because Wi-Fi is becoming a um, not a luxury, but a demand. People do not want to wait, and people do not uh, know what it's like to live without their devices and without being connected to fast internet. And so um, the conversation about Wi-Fi access points has really exploded over the past 10 years, and it is um, leapfrogging itself in terms of importance and in terms of deliverability. You have to be able to, as an institution or as a company, or even as a, a doctor's office waiting room, you have to be able to offer Wi-Fi. And if you don't think that that's important, then it uh, really portrays how connected or disconnected uh, you are with the way that the world is working. Uh, think about it, all the things that you had uh, as accessories to your life now all fit in your smartphone. You have a camera, you have a calculator, you have a telephone, and then depending on what else there is, you have a camcorder, you have, you know, I mean, also you have an internet browser, which is basically a small tablet, um, which back in the day would have been a laptop, which back in the day from that would have been a computer. Um, you have the ability to text each other, you have the ability to play games, you have gaming systems, you have like all, just a, a plethora of things. And so as a business owner or as a company or as a, a service industry or perhaps even just a um, necessity, everything down to from grocery stores to doctor's offices to, uh, to schools to everything, you have to be able to deliver wireless internet and um, that is becoming so vitally important, especially as younger generations are moving up into uh, stages of independence high school, college, and so on. You have to be able to give Wi-Fi and produce it effectively. Now on my channel there is a couple of reviews, one for an Arrowhive system and one for a Unify um, AP system. Uh, both have their pros and cons. Both have um, obviously their own selling points. Uh, a couple of years ago we, uh, the institution I work for went to an all-out Unify access point driven um, system, which we hosted our controller, the the brain of the wireless. If you don't know what I'm, if you're not tracking, the brain of the wireless, the controller, was hosted on a virtual machine on one of our servers, uh, and that was okay. It got us through. And at the beginning, when people, when we installed it, people thought, "Man, this is amazing!" Like, uh, it's, uh, like light years from where we were, which was a really poor excuse for Wi-Fi where we were. Um, now, uh, six months later, not now, but six months later after we installed it, uh, the message was, man, this Wi-Fi sucks. Like, it's just terrible. It, it's slow, I can't get, I can't watch my HD videos, and so on and so on. So we updated to the Pro models. Really robust, five gigahertz, uh, great stuff. And for six months, man, this stuff is amazing. And then the, the six months later, man, this Wi-Fi sucks. This trend of, um, a luxury going to a demand uh, is really one of those items that you only catch up for a minute and then you're behind the curve again. Well, uh, instead of Unify, Unify was uh, the, the more budget-friendly version and they have newer access points than that review offers now. They have a, you know, they, um, they have an AC model, which is the current band of wireless. Uh, and I haven't had a chance to get my hands on that one and test it. I'm really tempted to just buy one personally and install it in my house because I, that's what I run in my home is Unify Access Points. But about a year ago, we decided to uh, push through a very expensive purchase order and go with an all-out uh, enterprise-level system. And the system that won uh, was Ruckus Wireless. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Ruckus, go and just Google Ruckus Wireless and you're gonna find out all sorts of stuff about it. They have their pros, they have their cons. Uh, you basically, when you enter into a company agreement with an enterprise level wireless service, you are accepting 
the high points and the low points. That's what you're purchasing. You're purchasing both. You're learning to live with the pros and live with the cons and work around those issues. And so we went with Ruckus because they offered the most options that suited our needs and the price was right. And so we were able to go with an enterprise level. Now today I wanna just show you two different access points. The first one is their flagship, the R600. Uh, this is the end of 2015, and so obviously this information is going to change. But the R600 is their flagship, uh, and it is just a standard wall or ceiling mounted, uh, including drop ceiling, uh, mounted access point. It's a square unit, comes in a bag like this with all the instructions and everything you need uh, to get started. Now, just real briefly, this is an AC unit. It also has N, A, B, and G. It also uh, is able to mount uh, to a ceiling with a clip that's included. It has uh, two screws that you could wall mount it. Those screws have a locking mechanism, so when you slide that onto the wall and those two screws, it locks, and you need a key to get those off. It's a nice security feature. Um, let me just show you the rest of the box here. Here is that wall mount or the drop ceiling mount along with the clip that goes with it and then the key and the screws are included. So everything you need to get this on the wall in the place that you want to put it is in the box. Now, uh, I should mention this is a PoE unit so you will need power over Ethernet in all your switches or you can buy proprietary bricks or I think, uh, who is it, Linksys or I forget who. Uh, they make a proprietary one that you can buy. They're like 15 bucks on Amazon. They work great. Boom, you can power this guy uh, and it turns on. So we like it because we have PoE switches around our institution and so we don't have to run additional bricks. We just plug it into the port here on the back that says PoE on it and it lights up. It is 2.4 gig and it is 5 gig. It's two different antennas inside. These antennas are patent and they're circular. They are not linear like most access points. Unify uh, has a linear um, antenna. It's a patent on Ruckus. Ruckus is able to broadcast their wireless in multiple ways in different directions. Now, the competition is gonna tell you, yeah, but what about? Listen, there are pros and cons with everybody. The way that Ruckus delivers their product is good. The way that Arrowhive delivers their product is good. The way that Unify delivers its product is fine. It's just a different product and a different way that they deliver it. Um, I have noticed that this product, if I put it in a place that hasn't had Wi-Fi before, will throw the wireless further than I usually expect it to and will keep it from um, degrading over time. Now, that being said, there are exceptions to every rule. And so we, you have to be a little bit careful and when you meet with Ruckus to talk about um, you know, actually it's a, usually a third party seller. When you meet with them, they're going to look at your floor plans and they're gonna lay out, this is how your access points should be installed and where they should go. It's a great agreement that we have. We went through a company here in Michigan. They did a great job setting us up. I did all the installs for all of our access points. We have 53 of them currently running uh, and we're expanding. We're still going up to 75. Uh, with a few on the on the spare shelf, but we service over a thousand people, and um, our demograph is for every person, we're running roughly two anywhere from two to four devices, so we're averaging three, um, and we have a ton of traffic on our network. So, to deliver the wireless, um, we chose Ruckus, and it does a great job. The R600, like I said, is their flagship. It is a great, customizable, uh, easy to use uh, unit. And then these are governed, their controller, by uh, we chose their zone director, their 3000. And uh, it's a great unit. It runs really nice, really quiet. We just install it in one of our server racks and away it goes. Easy to set up, easy to customize, easy to lock down and set our parameters. Now, Ruckus is not a firewall system. You need to, as an institution, have already in place security measures for your wireless system. But when it comes to delivering the wireless and delivering fast wireless, the 600 R600 access point is a great option. Now, the kind of down the chain a little bit is uh, a, a separate unit, and this one's more for outdoor rated uh, type of things, and this is the H500. It is a little bit weaker than the 600, and it's not quite as nice, 
but it again comes with all the packaging that you need and all the instructions and then uh, has a, a mounting bracket you actually plug it in here in the back mount it to a wall like this and it sits up there the nice thing about the h500 is that you don't lose ports it actually acts as a mini switch and so for existing wire that's already run for example perhaps you have an office and in that office you have two ethernet drops or two internet ports in your wall and you don't want to lose both those internet ports you need those but you want to install an access point with the h500 you can install this on the wall or maybe even in the ceiling uh, above the the drop tile and run the cable that goes to the the office you can pull that back pull that up the wall and plug it into this guy be sure it's plugged in the power over ethernet this guy turns on and now you have wireless and then you run a new cable out of one of these uh, switch ports and back down the wall and now you don't lose a port on the wall and you've interrupted the line with wireless and so now you have the option to have an access point that connects to the internet and then feeds the office or the you know area that you want to do so you don't lose any ports As a matter of fact you can add multiple lines you can even add up to four uh, additional lines so Perhaps you have an office that you want to install wireless and then you want to run four additional lines down the wall and to have four ports in the office. Well, you can do that with this guy. This is a mini switch. So not quite as robust, not quite as powerful as the R600, but this will get the job done. So great uh, throw. This is also uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network AC. Now, inside each of the boxes, like I said, it comes fully prepared with everything that you need to install. and one of the most frustrating things if you're installing this on a wall is getting these two holes to line up so you can put the screws in, right? Let me show you, which I didn't know this until I bought them, um, what Ruckus does. They actually give you, with every single one of them, they give you a blueprint so that it shows you exactly where to drill the holes on the wall. So all you do is you stick this on the wall, you take your drill bit and the um, screw and go right through the paper. Boom, boom, line it up. Rip this off the wall, throw this away, take this guy out, slider on the wall, and you know it's going to be dead on every time because this is uh, an exact drawing of the dimensions of this guy. So, install is a breeze. I've installed every single one of these access points. I've had my hand on each one at some point. Uh, of course, I had a crew of, of uh, a team of guys with me, but um, every single one we installed, I configured, I went in, I named, I set up. Everything went really smooth. Now, a matter of fact, I did it twice. Uh, the first time we installed the zone director and then I realized there was a firmware upgrade. So I upgraded the firmware and the zone director actually froze on us and I couldn't get it to reboot. So I pulled the power, reset everything. It took me about three hours and everything came back, all the names except the descriptions for each of the access points. And so I had to go around and put in all of the descriptions as to where it was in that box I had put you know this was installed above this room or above this office or whatever so wasn't a deal breaker I don't I, I consider it part of the wireless administrators job uh, to keep that data up to date and to make sure it's functioning and so it wasn't a big deal I had to redo a little bit of work but like I said not a deal breaker and um, I still think highly of the ruckus product now the zone director is uh, we chose the 3000 and it is a um, web-based uh, I'm sorry it's installed in our server rack it's actually it looks like a switch and we installed it in our rack and we plugged it into our wireless I assigned it a static IP address and now we log into it through the wireless internet so anywhere I have wireless with my laptop or my desktop machines all I have to do is type in the IP address boom it pops up I put in my credentials and everything comes online this is really helpful when you're installing new access points because you can plug in the new access point set the zone director to recognize and adapt them automatically and then connect to the wireless as long as it's working right connect to the new access point through the wireless and then go in and configure it so super simple really easy to use i'm not going to go into the zone director per se because there are thousands and thousands of things that um, may pertain to you and probably won't pertain to you and so uh, in the case of just doing a general overview of uh, a wireless access point and a system that we now currently use I'm gonna leave that bit out otherwise this is a great product it's um, able to 
deliver um, as promised and so far we have like I said 53 of these deployed all around our institution uh, very minimal problems uh, it actually delivers the product so well that um, you know we have actually weeded out other network problems that we can decisively say that it's not the access point that it is our firewall or maybe it's a, a dying switch or something like that now these access points have um, we've stressed them fairly well we run gig speeds all the way from our internet pipe all the way down the line to uh, the access point itself the five gig network is where everything is going right now and so um, you're going to want 5 gig options on wherever you're headed. Uh, the 2.4 is standard, but it's slower. 5 gig doesn't necessarily throw further, um, but it produces a faster exchange rate of packets. And so um, you're going to want to buy um, access points that will support 5 gig because as we move forward into the future, uh, more and more devices will natively speak 5 gig and not 2.4. So uh, the access point has uh, its own brain that's obviously governed by the controller, but it will decide who gets on the 2.4 network, who gets on the 5 gig, and it will push people to evenly balance those loads. Now, the paperwork says that each of these access points in theory could handle more than three or 400 concurrent users. Uh, in reality, you may not want to rely on one R600 or H500 to handle more than 200, 300, 500 users. Uh, you may want to plan for having these evenly distributed so they're never stressed that much. So everybody can get on, everybody can pull down data. Again, the salesmen are gonna tell you, no, it, it, it'll do that. We've, we've tried uh, a few times and it's not as smooth as if you had 20 people on every access point or if you had uh, you know, 75 people on every access point. Uh, each of those devices is drawing down and exchanging packets with the internet and if you have a gig pipe all the way into the uh, ethernet port that won't be an issue but if you only have 10 100 and you have 75 devices that's a little more than one meg per person so uh, that's going to be painful and you're going to want a plan to buy um, enough of these for adequate coverage the zone director will decide if you leave it all on auto the zone director will decide for you what channels to put them on and over time it will usually work itself out in the rare case that uh, you have multiple levels in a building and you need to put multiple access points on each floor you may want to manually force the power and the channel so that um, you know this will be dedicated to channel 1 channel 6 channel 11 at full power or negative five decibels or whatever you choose um, but when you're installing multiple especially in layers across across a, a horizontal diagram no problem but when you start stacking them on top of each other over floor over floor um, this happens in office buildings this happens in dormitories this happens in uh, multiple places when you start stacking them then you're going to want to uh, be sure that the channels aren't overlapping and that they're sharing uh, the appropriate user load so just uh, take that for what it's worth um, there's like I said depending on the complexity of your project Ruckus will usually handle most of it automatically but um, to efficiently deliver the product especially in unique environments you're gonna want to be able to customize and Ruckus does al allow you to do that so uh, that's a great choice um, if you're looking at wireless uh, wireless solutions for your environment all right, well, this has been a real brief and general overview. I hope some of it's been helpful. Feel free to leave comments. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it. Let me know what you'd like to see um, in terms of if you want to see more of the Ruckus system. We're in a contract for a few years, and so uh, feel free to ask me questions and whatever, and I'll tell you what our honest experience is, uh, and I can even update videos or do another one if there are some specific questions that you'd like answered. Hope it's been helpful, and we'll check in with you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.